To all the women and girls watching this, I have some great news for you. Due to the current society we live in, we can now be the woman we've always dreamt of. The girls that have a perfect perky rack, a slim stomach, and a nice plump waist. We can finally live up to our only dream of becoming a housewife that has two kids and our only goal being to have dinner ready by the time our husband gets home. And don't forget to be dressed in skimpy shorts and a cute crop top. Because after all, it's only about dressing and living for the male gaze. I mean, what other meaning do women have in this world? I have never dressed for the male gaze. They are lucky they even get to look at me. This man came back from our date to hold my friend's kitten. Oh, so that's the female gaze. Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. It's finally time to talk about the male gaze. When I first heard about this term, I felt so much closure because I felt like I've been waiting for this theory to come out for such a long time. I could never just put my finger on what I was witnessing and I could never describe how I felt about this topic until I heard about this term. We are going to be talking about both the female and male gaze, but first we have to start off with of course addressing the male gaze. Created in 1975, the male gaze can best be described as a way of portraying and looking at women that empowers men while sexualizes and diminishes women. When I think about this term, it almost always makes me sad because it's like women are always the punching bag. Since the beginning of time, we've always had to fight for what we believe in. We had to fight for just a seat at the table. We had to fight to be respected by men. It's almost as if some men think that women are just incapable of making rational decisions. Decisions. The male gaze is often tied to traditional endeavors that a lot of men look for and want in a woman, such as big boobs, long hair, an hourglass figure, small frame, things of that nature. And it's not just materialistic and physical things. It's also being a homemaker, being feminine, and being quiet and submissive. This is just a double whammy that is so toxic and it's just built upon destroying women. On one side, this is just feeding into toxic stereotypes types that women are constantly pushed on. In order to fit the male gaze, we have to relinquish control of our most authentic selves to be what a man wants in us or better yet, what society wants in us. On the other side, we feel insecure because we are now not desirable anymore if we're not feminine or don't have double Ds or are a homemaker or things of that nature. I'm not a feminist or anything. I just want to know why is it that when it comes to men throughout history, they have a constant pattern of putting down women and degrading them in almost every single social category. Like I love everyone regardless of whatever gender you are. It's just really sad to see this happening throughout history. And surprise surprise, the one theory that this is most prevalent in is in the entertainment world. The best example of the male gaze was in Marilyn Monroe. Everyone knows the tragic story of this woman. A woman who just wanted a shot at chasing her dreams in film. A woman that wanted to make a name and career for herself, but instead was stripped from showing her intellect and was made into a sex symbol. She was dressed in sexual and scandalous outfits, made to play the role of being a surface level woman whose biggest statement out of life was thinking that diamonds are a girl's best friend. And if she tried to break out of this bubble, she was told she was hard to work with, entitled, and was a cruel woman. And the saddest part about this is that she knew the only way to make it in this industry was to play the dumb sexual blonde, all to fit in the male gaze and to make money. And even to this day, she's seen as a marketing strategy to bring in more money and clout. The TV industry constantly shows the male gaze by objectifying women and destroying their honor, thus their dignity. We see this by camera zooming into cleavage, butt shots, the camera panning from down to up, just stripping women of everything they stand for, dressing up these women and girls into outfits that make men happy and embarrass and horrify women. This is extremely prevalent in anime. I personally like love anime so much and it's so prevalent that it's just so humorous to me. Shots that only show a girl's boob bouncing up and down, scenes that all you see is their underwear. Now when is the last time you've seen a camera zoom into a guy's butt or crotch? Don't worry, I'll wait. 
and I'm not talking about movies like Magic Mike or something on the lines of that. This is the society we live in. This is what women and girls have to face every day. And if we don't dress for the male gaze, we're called a tomboy, not feminine, a feminist, or the weird girl. Now, of course, I'm not trying to make it seem like I'm just blaming this on men. Women always have a choice as to how they can dress or present themselves to society. So to just say that men are the cause of all this is just not true and it's not fair. I don't want to ever give off the impression on my channel that I'm some girl who just hates men and thinks that women should rule the world and all this other BS. Like that's not the type of life I want to live. I always try to respect everyone and I think that we're all equal and we're all beautiful in our own way. All right, let's move on to the female gaze. There are different definitions when it comes to the female gaze, but the one I'm talking about can be defined as how women see men through their eyes. This is really interesting because it's scientifically proven that when it comes to what women find attractive regarding men, women tend to value more of the emotional aspects that a man can provide for them. So you can look like Jason Momoa, but a lot more women would rather choose someone like Cole Sprouse because he attributes to more of the personality and the values that maybe more women would want. Now, I'm not talking about every single woman. I'm just basing everything off of what has been scientifically proven. Being buff and tan and having a six pack, you know, is always, of course, super nice. But a lot of women tend to see past that and or find the emotional aspects of a man more attractive. And we really see this on TikTok. When we see all the hot guys that are making all the dance videos and are doing the lip syncs, they are almost always catering to the emotional side of the female gaze. There is this one guy on TikTok called Alex Galorno, and he essentially does TikToks that are centered around the female gaze. This dude is so just hilarious and funny to me because he'll make these TikToks where he starts off by saying the line of, ladies, is it weird that? And then he'll say some mediocre line that most women wouldn't mind or agree with. And he always makes it seem like he's like this dream guy that all women want. I'll just have to show you a clip. It's so hilarious to me. Ladies, I have a serious question for you. Is it weird that I really want to bring a blanket with us every single time that we go to the movies together? Because here's the thing. No matter what, I want to be able just to sit there and cuddle with you while we watch a movie together. I want, I want it to be like we're sitting at home, just laying on the couch together, just curled up in a blanket. Like, obviously, most girls wouldn't mind, you know, sharing a blanket at the movie theater with your significant other. Like, he's obviously trying to cater to women. And you would think that all the ladies would be catching on to what he's trying to do. But I looked in the comment section and all these girls are like, oh my gosh, you're my dream guy. And like, oh, you're so amazing and so hot. And I wish you were my boyfriend. I'm just like, are you kidding me? <laughs> like, all of them are like, oh, you're so sweet and so romantic. He even does like little poems. This is a letter for my future love. No, I don't know you yet, but I see you in my dreams. You're bright and beautiful and everything in between. When you enter a room, it's almost like everything fades to black and there you are in the center of it all, as if the whole world never existed. Yes, it may be a dream right now, but it won't be like that forever. <laughs> I'm sorry, I mean, overall, yes, that's really sweet and cute, but it's just, the thing that's making me laugh is that it's so obvious that he's trying to portray himself as like this dream guy, when in reality, like I can see what he's doing and I just think that part is funny to me. Ladies, I have a serious question for you. Is it weird that I just wanna sleep with you? And no, I don't mean like that. I mean, literally just sleep. Us curled up next to each other. No, we don't have to cuddle just having you there in the same bed with me being able to hear you breathe feeling you move around it's comforting yeah that is so weird you're my boyfriend and you want to sleep next to me at night oh my gosh yeah that creepy i mean who does that what type of boyfriend and girlfriend like sleeps next to each other in the bed together so weird ladies i have a serious question for you actually you know what this isn't even a question because i know this is weird i want so bad for a girl to just walk up to me start playing some music and us just start dancing together ladies i have a serious question for you is it weird that i want to give you a nice gift on our anniversary to show how much i love and appreciate you i don't know so many people have told me that it's weird so 
is it? I'm also not saying that women don't care about looks at all because that is a complete lie. So many girls have told me they care more about how ripped a guy is than his personality. So in a lot of ways, this is also extremely toxic. It gives men these unrealistic expectations to live up to. It's like the only way he'll find love is if he works out seven times a week and is at least like six foot tall and if not, then I'm sorry but you just don't live up to the female gay standards. Which basically means that you're not good enough. Overall, is it wrong to have a female or a male gaze? No. But when the certain gaze objectifies, degrades, sexualizes, or has any type of negative attribute to it, that's when it becomes a problem. There's nothing wrong with a man finding a woman's body shape to be attractive or her being feminine attractive. But is it really necessary to bring down that gender in order to raise the other gender up? What are you getting out of that? For once, can we learn to embrace each other for who we are and not have to worry about being degraded by the opposite gender? Like, is that too much to ask? <laughs> Comment your opinions down below. Thank you so much for staying till the end of the video. I will see you guys next week for my next video. Bye guys.